All right, all right, all right. Today is February the 6th, 2023. On February the 6th, 2021, I mean 2011, I put a toilet in front of the Towson Courthouse. It represents white supremacy. That's my mother and my father, all right? And this is about weaving in Baltimore. I weave in Baltimore City and Baltimore County, all right? And this is about weaving in Baltimore. It's making a documentary about race and racism. See the date? A documentary, filming a documentary. The date is 2009. This is 2010, when I blew the whistle on Scott Schellenberger and the rest of the Democratic Party. I blew the whistle on Scott Schellenberger, Greg Bernstein, and Governor O'Malley's mom machine. I put a toilet in front of the courthouse because the toilet don't give you black, white, straight, or gay. A toilet take your shit every day. We flushing careers down the hole 2023. We're going to do it again. If it ain't broke, you ain't got to fix it. Oh, hey there. I recognize you. You've got a nice ass. Yeah. See, we're going to trade places because Schellenberg is the terrorist. Schellenberg said the toilets was a, a, a bomb. Those toilets was art and activism. It was artwork. Plain and simple. No more, no less. Shorty, pull your mask up. No, we're going to unmask Baltimore today. We're going to put it all out here on public display. Art and activism. The art of protest. That's City Hall. Mayor Brandon Scott, Jack Young, everybody since 2006 know about this. These are the criminal charges against Scott Schellenberger. Like I said, Scott Schellenberger. These are the criminal charges. Right here. That's the case number. And that's how long y'all been sitting on this case. Black lives don't matter. Black money do. You feel me? Black lives don't matter. Black money do. And y'all tried to kill me. Y'all came in my house and put guns to my head. I'm not Emmett Till. I'm not Freddie Gray. I'm not George Floyd. You feel me? Y'all tried to kill me in 2010, but I'm still standing. I'm still standing. And I'm here to do it again. Like I said, if it ain't broke, you ain't got to fix it. And this is a public display, art and activism, right here. All about Baltimore City and Baltimore County and your courts, the corruption in your courts. Mike! Jack! Call the police. Today's a good day to go to jail. Like John Lewis said, I go to jail for the right reasons. And this is the right reasons right here. This toilet. It's called public accommodation is the right to access your court. That's art and activism. That's Baltimore County courts. And right here it says libel, a body attachment. Nobody get, never got charged with stealing my property. I was making a movie. Black lives don't matter, black money do. That's Anthony Brown. He just signed for this on the 23rd of January. All right, Anthony Brown got that. It's the art of protest. I'm an activist in Baltimore. I'm very active in my community. I gave you a reentry program. That's Shorty and Jeff Majors. That's Kwaisi and Fumi and Alpha Justice. That's Shorty and Dick Gregory. And those are the criminal charges against Scott Schellenberger. If I can go to jail for a toilet, Scott Schellenberger can go to jail for terrorism. Black lives don't matter, black money do. That's Mark Clark in the Big Fat Morning Show. And that's me and my activism, acting like Martin Luther King. See what's in the toilet? That's the ACLU. While I was locked up. We talking about slavery in the 21st century. Alright? We're going getting deep on this shit. And that's State's Attorney Mosby. We got a right to vote in Maryland. Ex-felons got a right to vote. So Fox 45 turned this one up. That's the FBI. You're going to get my FBI file, my Department of Justice file. And you're going to get all my paperwork from Governor Hogan. If Mayor Pugh can go to jail... Oh, Hogan go to jail too. Yeah, we're going to see how much you want to do. Because like I said, this public display. Everything that y'all took from me, I had to reshoot it. I had to re-get it and re-get it. That's Jill P. Carter. That's my store on Falls Road, 2006. Like I said, I had to redo this. That's Governor Hogan. That's Mayor Brandon Scott. I went city, county, state, and federal levels. Shorty, pull your mask up. No, we ain't done with this. In 2011, I gave you Monopoly. 
2023, I'm giving you the cheaters edition. That's Komodo Motion. This is to prove I was making a documentary about your prison industry. All right? The toilet is a political statement, a freedom of speech, a focal point for the movie and book, letters design, art and activism. You said you want programs that work. This program worked. That's Ed Mulatello from the Raisin. Ravens. That's Ozzy Newsom. It's Black History Month. We're going to make this a black history moment. You feel me? That's Martin Luther King, and I applied for his job, and that's why you locked me up. That's Ray Lewis. You feel me? That's Ray Lewis. And this is my store on Falls Road right there. Black owned, black owned since 1997. And this is 2019. The U.S. Attorney's Office. Johnny Oleski asking for an investigation. That's Wes Moore. And that's Shorty. Like I said, I'm a copywritten criminal. What I do, I do in the light of day. And right here it says, please allow 30 to 60 days. I never got an investigation. I was incarcerated in two different states for a crime I didn't commit. I never got an investigation. That's a legal notice. I got a right to defend myself. My constitutional right is self-representation. And I can invoke that right anytime I choose to. And I gave it to you. I gave it to Ivan Bates. Like I said, that's here, State's Attorney Mosby. That's Ivan Bates. That's the Department of Justice on Charles Street. And that's the bomb threat from 2011. Amendments to the Constitution of the United States. Corruption in Maryland's courts. You feel me? Ain't no law against making a movie. Makes sense? I gotta share that toilet. I'ma share it with Scott Schellenberger. We're gonna trade places. We're gonna trade places. That's the Supreme Court. Those are the justices of the Supreme Court. And it's the 1964 Civil Rights Act, public accommodation, equal access to the courts. We're talking about voter fraud. That's the Board of Elections. And that's Chief Justice Mary Barbera. That's Scott Schellenberger. Get cut, get caught, get cuffed. I'm ratting y'all out right here at the courthouse. In 2011, y'all called me a terrorist. I'm calling y'all cheaters. That's a lifestyle. If Mosby can go to jail, so can Scott Schellenberger. That's President Biden in the Department of Justice. That's Governor Hogan. And this is the property that you stole from me in Lake County, Illinois. I never got a trial for that case. So as you as the governor got to give me a trial. I need a trial. Do blacks have rights in which white America respects? Like I said, I'm a member of Alpha Justice, and it ain't going to be just us in 2023. We're going to occupy the courts. Wishful thinking? Yeah, she got caught, she got cuffed, and she going to jail. But her only way out is to snitch on everybody else. She can start snitching. Remember the snitching video from 2006? That's Eric Barron. And that's me when I put the toilet here. And that's my film crew. Dear Stephanie Rawlins Blake, Commissioner Davis, I'm writing you this letter so there's no misunderstandings about my intentions and commitment to the community. You feel me? I was making a movie about Governor O'Malley and his mom machine. I'm a cook, I'm a caterer, I've been in your house. And just cause I asked for Martin Luther King's job, y'all got mad. Right there, February the 2nd, 2011, I gave this to the state's attorney's office. That's Illinois, Maryland, city, county, state, and federal violations. And these is the cases. That's evidence. Had to refile my paperwork. There goes my crew. And there goes Judge Carrion. So let's do this all over again. In the light of day. I go to jail for the right reasons. Like I said. Black lives don't matter. Black money do. Y'all make a lot of money off the prison industry. Out here in Baltimore County, when you closed the projects in Baltimore City, y'all was locking up the people that had the vouchers. Yeah, you did it in Baltimore City, you did it in Anne Arundel County, and y'all made a lot of money. Governor Hogan made $500 million a year. Scott Schellenberger did too. You can't use your office and position of power to unjustly enrich yourself. That's Scott Schellenberger. Those are the charges against Scott Schellenberger. That's Marilyn Mosby. She did nothing. That's the Board of Elections. ex felons got a right to vote. And all this going to the Supreme Court. Can you hear me now? Do blacks have rights in which white America respects? In 2023, we're going to find out. I get exoneration 
Or we going to the Supreme Court. Civil Rights Act. It's Black History Month. We're going to make it a moment. Mike! Chat! Can you hear me now?